Sea of Galilee, and we're boarding the boat. We boarded the boat to sail on the Sea of Galilee, and it was a replica of the one found in the sea that dated to be 2,000 years old and is now in a museum next to the shore. As we were sailing on this, the boat on the Sea of Galilee, we had time for silent prayer and quiet reflection looking out across the sea to the land where Jesus walked. Jesus' ministry of teaching and healing took place on the northern shore of the Sea of Galilee. After leaving the boat on the northern shore, we got on our bus and drove to the Mount of the Beatitudes. There we visited the church on the site where Jesus gave the Sermon on the Mount and then walked to an outside altar where Father offered Mass. See the traditional location? Any of these hills was mentioned or as known as a mountain. And the ceremony of the mountain was located here because it's in the middle of all the towns that were mentioned, somehow in the middle. When Jesus preached, many people, thousands of people from all around, they used to come to listen to him. We are at Capernaum. We're going to go visit St. Peter's house, where it was, and that it was excavated by the Franciscans. Our next stop was to the town of Capernaum. This is called Jesus' town because he spent many months here. We visited the synagogue over the original one that Jesus preached, taught, and healed in. It is was in ruins, so they built another one over it, and that is also in ruins. The Franciscan uh, priests helped to maintain the town of Capernaum. We also visited Peter's house, and this is the site where Jesus healed his mother-in-law. A Catholic church is built over Peter's house, and the whole town of Capernaum is on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, so we got to see a beautiful view of the waters of the Sea of Galilee. 
Along the Sea of Galilee is the Church of the Multiplication of the Loaves and Fishes. This church is dedicated to the place where Jesus multiplied five loaves of barley and two fish to feed 5,000 people. There's a rock in the church which Jesus used to lay the fish and loaves of bread on as he did his miracle and multiplied it. Jesus also appeared to his, to his apostles after the resurrection here and fed, fed them a breakfast on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. Not too far from this church is the primacy of Peter Church. This is where Jesus made, lead, made Peter the leader of the church, and it includes steps where Jesus and his apostles once walked on into the Sea of Galilee. The sea was closer to the steps than it is today. And the church where Jesus made Peter the first pope. The spot, it's built on the spot. When we got to the Jordan River, Father Martin led us in renewing our baptismal promises. This part of the Jordan River was not the part where Jesus used when he was on earth. It was further south of this area here. What I discovered in the hotel is there's... You stop here just carefully when you go down back to the bus. Bring your camera just for a photo of part. Down it that way is where Jesus was baptized. And we're, we're at the hotel waiting to go to church. We this spent a Nazareth. few days in the town of Nazareth. Yeah, this is the town where Jesus grew up in the town of the Holy Family. We're in downtown Nazareth on our way to church. It was a Sunday and we uh, were going to walk to Mass. The Mass was going to be at St. Joseph's Church over the uh, place where the Holy Family lived. But before we had Mass, we went to the Greek Orthodox Church to see Mary's well. The Greek Orthodox Church is built over the well that Mary would use with the other women to fetch water. This was likely the place where the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary. We walked through the town of Nazareth and could hear all the be church bells ringing. And we went to the cave of Mary where the Catholic Church of the Annunciation is built over. There was mass going on in the cave uh, or near the cave of Mary. This is the house of Mary. Here about him, when the angel appeared to him, had a 
Father, and we take Mary to Bethlehem for the birth of Jesus. And, um, and then after we visited that, we went to the uh, St. Joseph's Church where the Holy Family lived. The grotto of Saint, the, the Holy Family, where the Holy Family lived. The house of the Holy Family is where I left all the prayer requests. Church of the Annunciation, the Basilica. This is some of the excavation. Upstairs the Basilica of the Annunciation. The churches in the United States gave money to help build this church, and this is to commemorate that. St. Joseph's, where we had Mass. We then drove to the town of Cana. Cana is where the wedding took place, where Jesus, his mother, and the apostles were invited to, and where Jesus changed water into wine, and his mother Mary told the servants to do whatever Jesus tells them. In this cave, uh, the, there were two couples that were with us on our trip, and Father led them into renewing their uh, marriage vows in that cave. So where the wedding feast of Cana took place, and here's one of the jars they excavated. Above the cave was the Catholic Church. While we were still in Israel, our bus took us on a long ride to the northern part uh, of Israel, near the borders of Lebanon and Syria. It drove us to the Golan Heights and Caesarea Philippi. This was now at the Hermon Stream Nature Reserve. It was the site of the ancient pagan temple of Pan. But it is where Jesus took his disciples and asked Peter, who do you say I am? And Peter answered, You are the Son of the living God. This is where Peter made his profession of faith. This was also the beginning of the Jordan River. It was a, um, a spring that uh, emptied into the Jordan ri River. base of Mount Tabor waiting for a ride to take us up there and uh, here are some people picking olives. The site of the Transfiguration. The next day was our trip to Mount Tabor. Mount Tabor is the site of the Transfiguration of Jesus. Jesus appeared with Moses and Elijah when he took three of his apostles up on the top. There, Peter, James, and John saw the vision of Jesus glorified with Elijah and Moses. When we arrived at the um, base of the mountain, we had to uh, travel in a van up a narrow winding road 
to the top of the mountain and it was only room for one-way traffic so when one form of traffic went up another came down the next time At the top of Mount Tabor, Father Martin offered Mass and the altar uh, at Mass was over the original rock where Jesus was transformed. We had a, a magnificent view of the valley below. Mount Tabor is one of the two natural green areas in Israel. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven.